Welcome back to the Direct Insight YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to present a video on how to create videos for YouTube. Starting with ChatGPT, we're going to brainstorm ideas and storyboard and script. Then we're going to use Magic Light to create animated characters to convey a story. And we'll put everything together in Canva Pro before we can publish it for upload to YouTube. Let's get started with ChatGPT now. So first of all, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So I'm going to jump over to my YouTube channel and take a look at my saved ideas under the inspiration tab. So when I go to the channel content, there's an inspiration tab and I've saved a few ideas that it suggests would be popular for my channel. So this is where I got the idea about creating videos with AI from script to editing. Then from here, I'm going to take this information which shows to be very popular to ChatGPT, and we're going to pan it out into a script. The first thing I'm going to do is copy the information from the inspiration from YouTube, and then I'll jump over to ChatGPT and I'll paste that in. The results that I get may not be exactly what I want for the next step in my video creation. So I'm going to go through step by step refining the results until I get something that I can use. So after several iterations, I get to the point where I have a story about a character called Brandon and his struggles with AI and marketing. So now the final step is I'm asking ChatGPT to make a script specifically for that character. Then I'm going to go through and ask ChatGPT to remove narration and scene prompts because the way that Magic Light breaks up a video into scenes is it's going to use a scene prompt and narration as a separate scene and I want editing and deleting of those unnecessary scenes to be as easy as possible in Magic Light. You will see what I mean when I move to the next step because I'll still need to delete some of my scenes. So I'm jumping over to Magic Light now and we'll do story to video. So if I click on story to video and then I'll go through the steps. I'm going to choose the format landscape and then there's different styles of characters. In this case, I want realistic. Then I'm going to copy and paste in my script that I created in ChatGPT. Now I'm going to simply remove any elements that are not relevant, where it says scene three, scene four, those are not necessary as scenes and they are just basically fillers in between the real scenes. Once I've done that, I will click next. Magic Light works in a step-by-step -step process. So the next step is for me to choose my character, the character that is going to represent Brandon, our protagonist in the story. You can see when I'm scrolling through the characters that it fits the style that I chose, which was realistic. So there's other styles that are cartoon or cyberpunk or various different things, medieval, um, and the characters will match whatever style you've chosen. So once I choose my character and hit the next button, we will move on to the scene generation. Magic Light now creates the visuals for all of the scenes. Now I'm going to go through and because it can do voiceover where it reads the prompts for each scene, I'm going to test some of the voices. Brandon sits at a cluttered desk. Brandon sits at a cluttered desk late at night. His laptop shows multiple browser tab. Carefully review everything about your scenes. So the prompts for the voiceover and the prompts for the images and also how the images look. If you need to, go back to an individual scene and regenerate the image to produce something that you prefer. You can also use AI Expand on the right hand side where the prompt is for the image to expand the prompt and then regenerate the image. Once you've done that, you'll be ready to animate. 
but it's very important to get these things right before you animate because the animation is based on the scene and the prompts. Once you have your script perfect and all your visuals exactly how you want, you can move on to the animation stage. Click on animate and then from there you can choose generate from customized prompts and the model that you want to use to animate. If you use customized prompts, you have a lot more control about what happens in the scene that you're trying to animate. So here I'm going to put in the prompt and then we'll go from there and see what happens with the animation. So now I've created all my scenes and all of my animations. Let's just have a quick look at some of them. If I click through, you can see they're quite impressive. And then we will be ready to move on to the next step. So we're jumping on to the next step where we can look at um, our titles, captions and music. I actually prefer in Magic Light not to add any titles and not to add any uh, subtitles or music because all of these things I think are more efficient and better to do in Canva Pro when I move on to that, that step. So I'm going to go through and you can see that I'm just clicking on what the subtitles look like and then ultimately I'm just going to say no subtitles no titles and no music then i'll move on to the step where i can publish it and download it so that pretty much wraps up magic light let's look at the final result and then in part two, we'll move on to how we can add captions and edit the video for our final export. Brandon, deskbound, feels lost and it's late. He's grappling with AI and his marketing. He scrolls through confusing analytics on a computer, trying to find answers, trying to find direction, outsourcing his best. AI, sales, marketing, no clue. He's feeling more confident about his vision. A plan is in place. Brandon can see improvements and a forward momentum. He can focus on what he does best now. Monthly call with directing design. Money well spent. Brandon has so much to think about. He has new ideas to discuss with his team. Brandon's growth strategy is working. He now has a trusted resource through directing design. When you combine the possibilities of AI tools like ChatGPT for brainstorming and script writing and Magic Light for animation and short videos, the possibilities are limitless. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode and I hope you found it valuable. In part two, we're gonna look at Canva Pro, some basic editing and how we can add captions to our Magic Light production. Stay tuned, ta-ta for news.